Hello, YouTube. What do you know? I remember how to stream. <laughs> Bet you thought I was a goner. Hang on. Let me get all straight. Everything's jacked here. There we go. All righty. If you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, watching the recording, you might want to skip ahead a few minutes. I'm going to let some of my uh, chatters gather up here in the box. So I'm not talking to myself, <laughs> which I do a lot. Hey, Joan. Hey, Eminem. Hello. How is everybody? Okay, here we go. Hey, Claire. Linda, hello. Give everybody a couple more minutes before I get started. Whew, my hands are cold. Went down in the 20s here last night. See, I can bring this in a little bit closer, I think. Why does that look? That angle looks funny, doesn't it? Is it just me? <laughs> I think the camera's not in the... I'm afraid to touch it. It fell off the mount not too long ago. <laughs> Better leave well enough alone. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, been a while. I know. Um, I am currently, most of you guys know that I had um, some pretty serious issues with my um, cervical discs, the degeneration. Five years ago, I had something very similar happen, and a series of spinal steroid shots kept me going for five years. Gala! <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's my hands. Now you believe me? <laughs> Let me tap. That's me. Now you got evidence. Anyway, um, about two months ago, I guess it's been somewhere around there, I did nothing but look down in the shower to pick something off the bench. And a pain went down my neck and across my right, sh uh, not my shoulder blade, up my, my collarbone almost, down the top of my shoulder. Long story. Got worse, crippling pain, took my right arm out, uh, went back to the neurologist, MRIs, x-rays, then they sent me to the hospital to have the radiology team do targeted steroid injections and the C5 and 6 nerve path and C6 and 7 nerve paths that were affecting my right arm. It took nine days for those babies to kick in, but once they did... Big girl is free of pain for the time being. Cross my fingers. I love steroids. Hey, Z. Hey, April. Um, so, while I was in good enough shape, I still need to have the spinal, spinal fusion surgery at some point. Depends on how long these shots last. I start physical therapy tomorrow. Hey, Kath. And uh, we just go from there and see what happens. If it cripples me up again, then I got to go in and get the fusion done. Dana, Tam, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, so um, myself, Zandra, April, Claire, and Bonnie um, recently traveled to Arizona for a class with um, Robin McClendon to celebrate her the launch of her new book. Um. It's available on Amazon. It sold out first printing, sold out over 5,000 copies and uh, before it even launched. So another print's coming out. But this, this book, I'm telling you, is a piece of art in its own right with all the, um, I'm just, I know Xandra showed this before. I'm just going to kind of leave through this. It comes with a couple stencils back here. I think it's two stencils. Yeah, a large and a small stencils included. Um, oh, and if you want a real chuckle. Right here where my thumb is. Where is it going to focus? 
See where it says Tim Holtz. Come on. Of course, it's not going to focus. But anyway, she <laughs> she mentions me on the cover between Tim Holtz and Seth Apter. I told her. I wonder what they're thinking. Like, what the hell? Who the hell is that? I actually I know both of them, but I <laughs> it's shocking because I'm not as we all know in that same level of anything. <laughs> but this, this book, I might buy another copy and use it. I wouldn't have the heart to tear it up. I was going to say use it for collage or maybe scan some of these pages. But this, these are the, some of the techniques we did in Arizona with her. CB! Howdy, stranger. Um, but it's so well written. The photography is awesome. Her daughters did the photography. Um, and her daughter, as I am, was with us at the at, at Cat Kirby Studio in Prescott, um, Arizona. But anyway, there's there's a little sneak peek. It is yummy. So uh, 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 there you have it. Oh, and there's my autograph. Or Robin's autograph to me. So I'm going to put this in a safe place. <laughs> Way away from the rest of this. Um, Gala, let me show you these and then put these in a safe place. And we, you probably, you saw these because we video, uh, videoed some and sent them to you. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my God. Whoever tells me not to use that, I'll have to block. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Gala is a fan of this kind of art. And we were at a shop that was in Prescott, wasn't it, guys? Lucy Linka's in the house. Hello. Is this Alex? Um, Gayla loves this kind of stuff. So I was sending her pictures and video from the, the art gallery where we were. Not an art gallery. It was a, um, I guess it was. It was, had beautiful stuff. Just Alex. <laughs> what do you mean, just Alex? But look at these, Gayla. This is just cards. We all got some of the cards because they were just too cool. This artist is... Tracy Horner. You can find her on Instagram. Uh, do you want you guys remember what her Instagram name was? It was something different, I think. But they were beautiful. April got a print. Did you get that framed yet, April? Yes, Joan, I got your Christmas. I should have brought it down here. I did get your Christmas card. It's sitting out with my other Christmas decorations on one of the... I'm not going to take these all out. You guys get the drift. So I think, if I'm right, she's an engineer and an artist. Hence all these, are, they're done over maps. And all these cool angles and stuff. To, uh, they're just yummy. I said yummy again. That's almost going to be like a bad word now. Yeah, Mandela Painter. That's her, that's her um, name on um, Instagram, Mandela Painter. And um, I got a couple glitters here to try. I'm sure you guys know Merrimy Small Arts and Merrimy. Uh, she's got two channels now. But she does watercolors and then uses a little glue pen and then spreads glitters out over top of them to just hit little places that are so cute. So that's the two glitters I got to play with one of these days. Who knows if it'll be today. Everybody likes the Kuretake gold stuff. And I saw this. I got this a few weeks ago, actually. Drop of shimmer. Uh, add to your ink, make it sparkle. You can add a pearly glitter-like sparkle to your ink by adding a small amount. A drop of shimmer to it. Enjoy a glass pen, dip pen, or brush. And I'm sure you could use it just like it is. But 
That's what that is. And it's very, it's, I can't know if you can see it. It's like water inside. It's very, very liquidy. Liquidy. It's a word. Look it up. Okay. And from uh, April, a little creative me on Etsy. And one of, one of our pals here. Her Etsy shop, she imports and sells Renaissance watercolors and some other products that she's getting. And one of the ones that she got were these soft pastels. Now, if you guys know me, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with pastels, but I'm going to try to figure it out and play with these somehow, some way, some reason. And Lizzie Linka, look at these new things here. Like, come on, people. And another water dropper bottle. I love these things. This is the new single color. Alec, keep me honest. Alex. This is um, hazel, I believe. Let's see. Let me get... Oops, hang on. I want to give you a good... My lighting down here kind of isn't the greatest. <coughs> hazel, yeah. So this is a new single color that's um, available. And um, I believe gifted with a certain amount of purchase. You can see the holographic uh, uh, pigment in the um, in the paint. That's little Hazel. I had two Aunt Hazels. Oh, and a mean step grandmother Hazel. Oh, we didn't like her. A lot of women packed into a small package. <laughs> It is yummy, CB, and it's one of your colors. So here's the new, and you know what? I'm so out of the loop. Alex, you might want to help me here, but is this the new, like, Black Friday? I forget what it's called. The black, It was a Black Friday special. Um, I forget what the, the name of it was called. I should have looked that up and noted these on my, Merry and Bright. Um, and you might have to spot me on these colors here. I'm really... Kind of back behind the old eight ball. Oops. Hang on. Let me try to. There we go. That's a little bit better. A beautiful teal. I think this is the deepest blue. You can see the holographic in the blue that they've done. And this is a gold. You can't hate that, people. Emerald, blue velvet, and champagne. Thank you. Thank you. And this is. Um, I think last year's Christmas set that you brought back out because it's perfect for Christmas. There's a um, brilliant red in there, the green and a silver, um, which I think, hang on, is that? Well, now I can't find the sweet spots evading me where I can get this light in there and let you see the color. Christmas 22, Shimmering Snow, Candy Cane, and Evergreen. There you go. And then these, which unfortunately they sold out of and can't bring these back right now. But in 2024, sign up for their newsletter and you'll be up to speed for when they um, look into more color shifting colors and pigments. Rumor has it. But look at these bad boys. Can you see the shift in them? The shift is so hard to show on camera. So I'm going to swatch these uh, before we get too far into anything. So let me get myself semi-organized. I'm never fully organized. Let me get a little drop of water on here. Hi, Amalia. So if you guys got any questions for Alex while well, he's in here for Lissy Linka, now is your time. I'm putting a drop on each one of these pans just to get it started. I love me some color shifts. All right. Give that a minute to cook. Let me grab some paper. Oh, 
have a watercolor here. I need to take off of this. Will that even go in there? Yes. <laughs> There will be more. Make sure you sign up for the um, the newsletter, April. I forget which watercolors they were I was playing. Oh, you know what? I think this was the gouache palette from Stone Ground that I had. Okay, I'm going to swatch black and white paper. A lot of these, as you guys, I'm sure you have a lot of metallic watercolors like I do. I'll show you this book later. Um, it's a work in progress. Patty, today you have the heart in your hat. See it? The heart in my hat? Huh? I have... Oh, Hazel. Where's Hazel? Come here, little girl. Thank you. You have the heart in your hat. See it? I'm going to say no. Is it the one that's hanging out in the chat off to the side, Z? I don't know what that means. Oh, no, that's just things I can add. I'm not sure what that... That tells you how far out I am with all this, keeping up with everything. It's like for two months I've been off-grid. There's Bonnie. Hello. All right, I'll try to go in the order that I wet these. And see what we can do here. So what I started to say was you guys that have other brands of metallic watercolors that there are a lot that are lovely, lovely, lovely. However, not all are created equal and not all of them um, are uh, as good on white paper as they are black paper. Some of them... Let's see, where the heck's my brush I like to swatch with? That one's a little too big. Oh, it doesn't matter. That'll have to do. Is this it? Oh, here we go. Um, I have a lot. Uh, that were not inexpensive watercolors. And when I put them on white paper, you have to look at a certain angle to see the color of the pigment. When you turn the paper at all, you see like a brown or a gray undertone. You see none of the pretty color. I don't know what the deal is with that or what causes that, to be honest. Um, they are better on white paper than most than any brand that I've seen. Now, some, some brands do, and I can't tell you which ones they are off the top of my head, but some are not bad on white. Some, not so much. And of course, the shifters, they will look different on black paper because it pushes, um, it, it reflects the light, I guess, a different way. And um, hey, Jan. And just... Um, doesn't look the same. So this is the Christmas set. Let's do the red. Was this, I think this was cranberry, maybe. Cranberry evergreen and shimmering snow. Oh, is my memory that good? I don't think so. And these will show better when they dry. So it looks like my brush isn't picking up a lot for some reason. Oh, candy cane. What the heck am I talking about? I'm telling you, keep me straight, Alex. Oh, I will wander off the off the rails. And when these dry, I'll pick them up and let you see what we got going on here. I 
And then we'll try to throw some kind of watercolors on some paper and maybe add some soft pastels. While April's, April's here and can keep me from running off the road. And maybe add some of the glitter and some of the Lizzie Linka and see what we come up with. I gotta take my glasses off for a minute. I wanna see this up close. Does this have. Um, is that holographic in there, Alex? This light, I can't. Oh, it looks different though. It looks like a different, I don't see all the like rainbow colors in that one. Thanks. Is that Gilly, Jilly? Can't see the chat either. Yeah, the, all the Christmas have the holographic sparkles. Lizzie loves them too much. <laughs> you guys have a Dairy Queen. We did not have Dairy Queen. I was very disappointed in that gala. We did have ice cream, though. Where did we get ice cream? Oh, we had some. We bought some at the grocery store and had some back at the house. But I don't remember. I don't think we got ice cream out anywhere, did we? Oh, good for you, Jen. Another collector that... Um, Alex, you probably recognize the name Jan Terry in your in chat here. She said she just completed her last order, completed her whole collection. Okay, now we're going into the um, yummy. <laughs> yeah, there is a story behind that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go back here and try to find Alex's notes. Uh, 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 uh. Make a wish. That was the one I just did. Was make a wish. Okay, hang on. I'm going. I'm scrolling through chat. There we go. Emerald blue velvet and champagne. And this is the Mary and Bright set, correct? Okay, so here we go. That looks yummy. Oh, we got packed today. Mine came fairly quickly from when I got the notice that they were, um, had the tracking number. We're keeping an eye on the, um, the front porch and mailbox as soon as we have a camera go off and we knew that somebody came up there looking for deliveries. Um, we, um, I had to uh, send a form to social security um, for my tax withholding. And Dave took it out when he, uh, Hey Judy. Um, oh, thanks. Um, he took it outside when he leaves the house at 5.30 a.m. to go to work, um, put it in the mailbox, put the flag up. So the mail carrier picks it up. So somewhere around noon, I walked by the front windows and I looked out the, the window at the mailbox to see if the flag was down, that I would know that mail came and I'd go out and get it. Well, the flag was still up. The box was open. I walked across the street and my letter was gone. So I uh, had to call the post office, ask if they came for a pickup, blah, blah, blah. Had to wait till the end of the day to see if um, the carrier, when they pick up 
Uh, Peggy, we sent yours. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't realize that, Alex. Um, so we had to wait till the carrier came back from her shift uh, to see if she had any pickups for our street. Apparently the pickups they collect in a different uh, one of the tote boxes. So um, we waited. She got in there. She had no pickups and only was down our street once and had no pickups for the day. So now, after you guys might, some of you might remember, we had a um, uh, what do I want to call it? We had our identity identity theft situation that was not our fault uh, last February, where our previous now um, tax guy, his vault system, uh, got hacked by some group in Nigeria. Long story. He didn't tell any of his of his uh, customers until like weeks later. So by the time I knew to get hustling on what I had to do to lock down the um, credit bureaus for both of us, call, you know, all the calls you have to make, the, um, uh, the ID Seth, gov so i forget what what all it was all these websites social security um irs i was on the phone and on the on the computer for somewhere in the vicinity of 20 hours that day trying to lock everything down and because he waited um i when i called the irs they looked it up and Returns had been, federal returns had been filed in our names. And just for a bonus, they added two kids as dependents. And uh, we're due a refund of like $1,600 with the numbers they plugged in there. Um, so then I called state, Maryland State, and the day before they filed forms there that were already in process. So then we had to file paper returns, get that, what is it called? The IPIN ID number. I still got to finish that. And um, it was a mess. It was a mess. So I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So because now the store form that was, we believe stolen out of our mailbox um, has my social security number on it. So hopefully because everything's locked down, they can't do anything, but we had to file a police report. And um, so the um, the cops told me that they're having a lot of this kind of theft. Uh, they see it picking up. Oh my God, look at this thing on black right here. Hello, lover. Um, they... Um, Jesus, I can't talk and, <laughs> and paint at the same time anymore. Um, they see around this time of year, it's pick, mail theft is picking up because they're looking for checks that are laying, going out or coming in. And um, so, uh, yeah. So we basically just have to wait and see if anything happens. There's nothing they can do. I wanted to make sure they got a report. So, and I asked them to like, can you like increase your presence in the neighborhood? Because our street's kind of out of the way. It's not a through street. It's like a big half circle and it connects into a main road, kind of a main road um, on both ends. So unless you live back here, you wouldn't normally, unless you were lost, come down our street. So we don't have a whole lot of traffic. But apparently, these are still wet, but they're getting a little bit. This, these, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see these shifting colors. And I shouldn't rub it in the salt in the wound because these particular ones aren't available. However, let me bring to your attention that the Summer Loving set, right, that's available on their site. These are shifting watercolors. They're different. They're different ones than this, but these are color shifters as well. Let me, let me get my light on here. 
Dave put you in as a dependent. <laughs> All right, these are color shifters. So if you really want color shifters from Lissy Linka, this can soothe your soul until more come out uh, next year. And they are gorgeous. That's one of my favorite sets. Because you know how I like my shifters. Okay, these are getting pretty dry. So here's the, the top set. Oh my gosh, how can I show this well? Alex, you'll have to send me the name of that, the light that you said you guys use. Now see, this is so bright. It's just blinding you out. You can't, I can see these, the holographic and all these from my angle. There you go. You can kind of just got to bring it up closer to the camera, I guess. All right. There's the blue. I think it's blue velvet. Is that evergreen? That's still kind of wet. And then the champagne, I believe. Oh, look at these. Oh, Hazel. I want to call it Ann Hazel. And then these. Now, let me try to show you. These are still wet on this watercolor paper. I don't know if you can see the shift in these, but it's so brilliant and obvious in person. You can kind of see a little pink, orange kind of thing going in there. Oh, it just doesn't do it justice. A little purple flash. It'll show better on here. But here are the same colors on black. Some of them are so reflective that when you add more light to it, it just blinds the camera, I think. They're just, you got to wear the sunglasses when you look at some of these babies. They are gorge. There you can see some of the blue in that one. And it's hot pink looking at me in the face here. But it's like a blue-purple shift. There you can see a little bit of it. I'd love to know how those pigments work. Anywho, there you go. There's a little glimpse into the Lissy Linka lusciousness. You can't hate that, people. All right, I'm going to set these aside somewhere. Let me open my other drawer over here that I use as a shelf. <laughs> I'm going to let these sit off to the side and let them dry. I like to let them dry out before I put the caps on them. Just in case. Um, here I'll show you this. We just So we did a, um, a lot of jelly printing techniques with Robin. When will the last set of three be available? Um, which one do you mean, CB? Oh, you know, so tough to capture. It is really hard to catch it on screen. But I'm telling you, I don't tell fibs. And these will knock your socks off. And these little um, pans, um, they actually hold about 20 to 30% more than a half pan does. Um, depending on how the pigment how thick it is, I guess. And when they fill the pans, some of them, they can fill higher. I don't know if I can show you that. Like this green doesn't mound up as much as, as the red does. Can you guys, or the white or the silver? I'll get it out of there one of these days. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that gives you like an extra 10% when they will pool like that and hold together. Carol, that was her Black Friday special. Not anytime soon, but they will come again. Oh, ooh, I'll hide these so CB doesn't cry. What, do you have an idea of when anything new was coming out again, Alex? CB, you can come and visit and play with mine.
so at Robin's class, we did a lot of different jelly printing techniques. We made some of our own masks, the hot glue mask that you've seen her do on her YouTube channel. And if you're a Patreon, uh, the shifter, we don't. But in eight weeks, we already have a new winter set of seven in mind. Oh, 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 oh. oh start mixing those puppies up. Yum. Um, hey, Susan. Happy to be seen. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm so glad. Last time I tried to stream, I could not sit here with my arm just up on the desk like that. At that angle was excruciating. And uh, to look down at anything, down my neck, mm, can't, couldn't do it. But thank you, steroids. You are my friend. So back to this. Focus, Patty, focus. We had um, a bunch of different techniques that we did and played with. Um Oh, you're welcome, Alex. I'm happy to do it. Happy to do it. I will be continuing to play with these as I get down here more. Um, for sure. They are my top favorites for metallics. My other favorites are Masha. The granulating watercolors. Hmm. They're good. Um, okay, squirrel. <laughs> Focus! <laughs> um the result of all these jelly prints and different techniques we did, we made a book. Robin supplied this really heavy, uh, cotty water pulp, water, hey, cat, watercolor paper. Was it a big sheet that we um, ripped, wet it, and folded it, wet it, and ripped it into quarters to make signatures? And she taught us this. Anybody remember the name of the stitch? It's got something to do with it. And then we bound um, the signatures. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it was eight signatures, right? Front cover and back were just, everything's a signature. And then we started collaging things in it. So this fabric, I got these strips of fabric off of Etsy. And it looks so much like it's like it got intuitive scripting on it. And um, so I had a little bag of those, but I came home with none because I gave it all away. And then this was, um, these were, this was a little strip of fabric that I got from an Etsy site that DD uses. Z, do you remember what it is off the top of your head? I don't remember what it is. Anyway, uh, we had to think of a word that meant something to us from our time there. And we went our first full day there. Bonnie wasn't there yet, but me, Z, Claire, and uh, April went to Sedona. I love Sedona. I'm going back one way or the other. I'm going back. But um, at the end of the day, on our way home, we stopped before sundown at Airport Mesa. If anybody knows anything about Sedona, where that is. Well, I didn't know at the time that that's one of three areas of Sedona where you can feel the vortex that they talk about. And I swear, I, I didn't know that. And I felt that. I felt something. Um, I mean, it's not like an electric current running through me or, you know, a vibration physically that I could feel. But the energy there was so Amore Fabrics on Etsy. Thanks, A. Um, was so obvious to me. It actually, I'm not a crybaby. And I was brought to tears twice just being there watching the sun go down and change had a, a vista of red rocks that spread out all in front of us we were up on a cliff at this lookout fiddler on the rocks was playing a violin on speakers that kind of echoed softly and as the sun went down the colors changed on those rocks like by the minute everybody it was so zen and peaceful and happy there were no kids running around screaming, causing a scene. There were no freaks there, you know, trying to cause trouble or, you know, any, it was different. It was just different. And um, <laughs> I was so happy Gail wasn't there. I was just saying, oh, please, Lords of the Vortex, keep her away. <laughs> but anyway, we had to pick a word. I picked Vortex. 
So you'll see little different stencils and swirls and designs through here. It's nowhere near finished. Um, I don't know if you can see the metallic stencil on there. That's one of um, Lemon Creations stencils um, over a jelly print. That's a um, that's actually a Lissy. I think that's Aurora um, around the border there that I painted on just to give it some kind of edging. And Bonnie made this paper. This was like a cash register tape that she dipped both ends of the roll into coffee and let it stain the coffee down the edges and bleed in there. And I just taped that in there to have something to tape in there. And I was doing a little Lizzie Linka scripting in here, but you can see the patterns where we sprayed these cotty papers with coffee and laid them on different chairs outside of Cat Studio. And it picked up the pattern on there. And that's just a piece of fabric I added down there from the same place. But they're all just, they're just signatures of this cotty paper. And then we just keep adding in there. And I got some I placed in here to do something with. But there's another little vortex thing going on there. That's a jelly print. And then we had the, um, I did a, um, picked up a, some of the hot glue gun stencils. And that black color on the side. We use those wood block um, inks. So this was a piece of paper. None of this is fixed in here yet. I'm still working on it. Xandra and Bonnie had been doing these. Um, and Bonnie is mono printed here in chat. They do have cool stamps and stencils. I think I might have a few more in my cart. I may or may not hypothetically have more in my cart. Um, they've been doing like eco printing and pressing it through um, a die cutter. Not a die cutter, but you know, what is it called? See? What am I saying? The crank that does the die cuts, but instead of die cutting, they're smashing the flowers and leaves into the paper. So this was part of one of the papers that Z gave me, but look at those. Look at the prints, how they came out. There's a little dusting of the bronze paint on there. You can see the bronze, uh, iridescent bronze. And I wrote the word vortex, and there's a stencil that had the same spray paint through it. But these papers are so cool. So that one's in there. Die cutter. Thank you. Oh, I did. Okay. I was right. What do you know? Sizzix. Big shot. There you go. And this piece, I just, I added this piece on there. This was um, one of Robin's print printables that I picked up some of the bronze watered down spray like Jan gave us all at, at my retreat this summer um, on a jelly print just to have a fold out on there. But the back of this, because when this paper gets wet, it's just printer paper out of my HP printer. It's an inkjet. So the ink, the toner bleeds through the paper and you get this pinky green bit. So I have this that Bonnie did, another piece of the cash register stuff that kind of went with that, that I'll work that in there somehow. So here's a fabric, oops, here's a fabric that I jelly printed. I bet you a good eight years ago. And I made a pocket out of that. And Bonnie, little rascal, she found a whole book of these, um, uh, uh, what are they called? The stamps, the, um, Oh, my brain's locking up on me. I can't think. And my recall's gone. I think it's really gone. Um, the Chinese, um, what are the stamps called? The chops. Ah, it was like a chop catalog. It was thick. And it was a book that was, it was so cool. She got it on eBay and was sharing it with us to grab what we wanted. So I just, for now, I'm just sticking a couple of these in this pocket. And they want to grab on my fabric, of course. I know enough about this stuff to be dangerous. Oh, for Pete's sake. Maybe a fabric pocket was the way to go. Bonnie does find some cool stuff. And this is a... Robin did this print um, demoing a Play-Doh technique that's in the book. Um, this is the half the piece of paper. The other half of it's back further. And she gave it to me because she knows I like that bronze so much. And this was 
a tag that I think, was it Norma that was passing these around or Gail? Do you guys remember? I think it was Norma. It's so cute. It's, it's like she made it for me. <laughs> But she had a whole big pile of these passing it around to take. And um, this is one of the girls that was there with us in Cat's Kirby Studio. If you're ever in Prescott, go there for some classes. It was a really cool place. We went for a walk out behind the property. And um, really cool. So that's one of Robin's uh printables that i scripted on and you can see i had hit it with the bronze paint too you can see all that stuff in there sparkly and i put another little vortex in this pocket i don't know if it's going to live there because you can't see much and more of bonnie's little tabs but i made kind of a pocket out of that um this was a piece of black paper i had to, oh i know what it was our markers we took we were supposed to take some uh uh Posca markers, paint pens. So I did. And I every one I opened exploded from flying in the plane. <laughs> and I guess being at altitude, they were blowing up right and left. So and I, when I say that, I mean shooting out more paint than you could write with. So I took a baby wipe and I was wiping up the paint. And then I thought, what can I do with this? And I grabbed a piece of paper and I tried to script with the baby wipe. It actually came out kind of cool. That's one of Robin's stencils. And you can see this is unfinished. And that was just a little piece of paper I didn't want to throw away. Oh, this is a technique that Z showed me. And I don't know where you saw it, Z. But I think if you didn't show it on your channel, I'm sure you will at some point, where you can um, lay down a stencil on your jelly plate and then put this particular kind of foil, just rub it in the openings, um, and then lift the stencil and put whatever to pick up the gold off of uh, the foil off of there like a clear medium and it comes out the shape of the stencil pretty cool um that's just one of those um uh what is it called zinc ink zinc 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 what is it called crank i knew i'd get it rhymes with zinc and ink one of these crank daubers and just kind of try it scripting on top of that and I thought that looks kind of cool actually and then in here actually this was Norma she does these she brought a stack of these around and let us um made a pocket of this print too love it um another one of Bonnie's chop catalog deals here and a piece of her cash register tape but um Norma uh who watches here and if you're if you're back there hey Gray if you are in the background lurking, hello. Um, but she makes these little watercolors, and um, she takes them. God, she takes them into hospice patients and cancer patients, and just gives them a little, a little. Ha oh, here we go. Yes, Norma, Cozy Cat Studio. Right, so cute. These are beautiful. So I just stuck these in here to, to keep them with everything. They may live there. I don't know. And this is just a piece of my paper that I, um, tissue that I, you know, soak with all kind of pigments and inks and what whatnots and let it dry. And um, I just put a piece of that in there. This was just a blob where things were exploding and I let it blob, but then it kind of looked cool. But I'll put something else over this. Um, this was a wide washi tape. Xander, you, this was yours, right? Certain foils work. Yeah. Not all, not all foils will do that. Um, I think this was a, I, I'd like to know the source of that one. I like that tape. Gala will like that tape. This was a piece of fabric that I used the hot, uh, the wax on. That was just a jelly print, part of a jelly print we did there to cover that up. Um, again, with the vortex theme, this was one of the pages I did here um, with um, the elegant, elegant writer markers. 
the black ink that bleeds out into all these colors when it gets wet. And then, so I'll do something with this piece of foil. Gala likes this stamp too. I foiled on this uh, batik fabric that I had in my stash, I don't know, a couple years ago. That'll find its way in there somewhere. And this was one of the prints with um, Robin stencils and um, I think some of my um, hot glue stencils. Another piece of that fabric that I got on Etsy. And this, I think, did Bonnie, did you give me this book page? Or Claire? I think one of you two gave it to me. I think Claire gave me this pocket. Here's another one of Bonnie's chop, uh, from the chop book. And this washi tape Z gave me. And here's that other page of Robin's. And this, I just, that piece was just laying around. And I thought, you're too cute to throw away. So I just stuck it in there for now. We'll see what happens. This is just kind of a placemat for, that was some of the hot glue stencils. And I tried scripting on this paper. It's very rough. But I did it with uh, one of, I did it with this actually. Um, it has the bronze paint in it with the, one of the needle noses and I tried to do it, but it skipped and, you know, made more blob out. So then I sprayed it with water to see what would happen. It actually looks kind of cool because you see the turquoise bleed out of that. I don't mind a blob here and there. You can see where the watermark is on the paper where it all got wet. So here's more pages, more pages, more pages. And this... <laughs> It, you know, it's okay, but um, when you really, really look at it, not so okay. But um, I took the um, Pibio, uh, what's it called? It's the um, Pibio Kern Relief in this tube with a fine point. It's transparent, and I scripted with it. And I was going to let this dry and then put foil on it, right? Well, I let it dry all right till it was hard as a rock and the foil wouldn't stick. So then Z reminded me of these glue sticks, which are somewhere right here. Here we go. That aren't available anymore. Kat had some in her studio and I bought a couple more of them. Planner glue pen. And she said, put some of that on the Kern Relief and then try the foil. And it actually, it worked that good. So thanks, Z, to the rescue. She was sitting next to me, so we didn't have to phone a friend that time. But anyway, oh, and I did some, some stitches with some little beads on the front here, trying to get real fancy. I did punch some holes that you can see back here that I may or may not go back to... Um, printing and I added a little one of the little tail strings I added some little beads that look like Raku and this Bonnie gave me this clip that reminded her of a vortex that I hung on there so I got a lot more to do but that's where that's where that bad boy sits for right now okay so let's see let me cut this page off of here what time is it 2 20 okay Uh, shoot. Well, it's only a swatch. I guess it's not a terrible thing if the paper isn't perfect, but I'm just going to do a small. And April, I'm going to have to tap in your brain about these pastels because I don't, I'm not a pastel user. I had some pan pastels way, way long ago. Oh, I had a lot of them, a lot of them because I thought this is what I'm going to do. Well, guess what? Didn't work out so good. I have a few of my favorite colors that I saved just in case. Um, but I was going to maybe add these after I get some watercolor on here. So I know they get powdery. Um, thanks, Joan. I know we were we were short a couple uh, regular travels travelers this trip, but. 
Maybe next time. All right, let me grab some paint. Oops. What's happening there? Is that as far as that goes? Hold on. Huh. Okay, something is catching. What the heck's going on here? Is that what it is? What the heck? Something won't let my drawer open all the way. And this is a very important drawer. <laughs> it's got all my faves in it. That's so strange. What the heck? Okay, now it just opened and I have no idea why. We don't need to ask these questions. Okay, so let's whip up a little something. I don't need all of these for a little quickie watercolor here. Set you off to the side here before I destroy you. Um... They also, oh, hang on, hang on, let me see. Oh, no problem. They're also activated with water. That's good to know. Don't have enough supplies to bind my drawers close. <laughs> it was something in the slide mechanism, I do believe, because there was nothing back there jammed. Nice try, though, Gala. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I'm going to use, so let's just give it a little, a little spray. Just put some, whoops, really, is that what's going to happen here? Come on. All right. I really need more room. <laughs> um, get a little bit bigger brush. Maybe that one to make the blobs. And let's just, maybe I'll stick to colors that kind of mimic um, the Lucy Linkas that I have here. So they'll blend. I know how I'm. And transfer to gel plate two. Oh, oh, huh. interesting. Um, April, are you going to stream again at any point? Do you think? Joan can't open a room. <sighs> oh, that's good. That's good because you have a lot of new products in there that you can really demo. And, uh, okay, let's see here. Let's do a little, this one is dragon's blood. And let's just do some blobs. I like to do that on my paper. It comes out really cool under papers. Yeah, way to go, Gala. Blabbed. Um, let's try some of this. There's some peach in there, maybe. Oh, that's too similar. Yet different. That's okay. We'll just let that go. Pretend I didn't do that. Let's get some greens in here. This is Serpent. Make it a Christmassy watercolor. You know, I don't do much Christmas stuff. It's not that I don't like Christmas, but I just don't. 
not my usual palette. Now we need something darker. Let's go into this green, forest green. This serpent green invades whatever colors are around it. I'll have to show you. Patty, are you still retiring at the end of the year? That is the plan. Unless something jacks up with my neck that I need to have surgery before then and start, you know, that procedure without, um, uh, you know, while I'm employed. Cobalt green dark. Cobalt green hue. Let's do the hue next to that. This one's kind of reminds me of Cascade Green from uh, good old Danny Smith. Um, what else? Let's go back to something else red. Quinn Red, Red Earth. Let's do Red Earth. The Quinn, I think, will be a little too bright. I'm going to bring a little, uh, I don't know, maybe I will do a little Quinn because I got a little, I got a little drabby. It is red earth after all. Oops. Mix the colors. Um, I'm reading the chat. I know these aren't go-together to, go colors. I'm just going to see how they mingle. This is just a, kind of a little experiment anyway. Um, you know what? Let's do more serpent into these reds and see what happens. It's, so, it's such a green, yellowy green that I think it might make some cool orangey colors. Or not. It may just make serpent mud. But that's okay. I feel very rusty. <laughs> which is evidenced by the sound of my joints when I move. Um, it is doing some kind of cool stuff with the having its way with those colors. And see where it seeped in through here. And even into the greens it... It goes everywhere. It's an invader. All right. I'll let that sit for a minute. Let me see what I have. Oh, Lordy. Already partially done that I can skip the drying for it. Drying phase. No, that's a little wild. I was playing with some of the ocean paper palette. They have a lot of real light colors. And I was playing with that, uh, well, before I got laid up. <laughs> and um, I thought that was kind of pretty, though. It's so pale. Don't fall that way. Lordy, lordy. Oh, that's really great. There's a lot of stuff piled up here. I gotta do something about that. That only could be moments away from a crash. What is this one up here? You know what? This one's dry. And it's a little, a little bright, but instead of watching paint dry, 
Let's see what we can do to this bad boy. Now, these were, I believe, oh, yeah, it, they are. Um, gosh, I gotta think of the name. Tara Watercolors from Australia. I see the, um, I'll show you. I gotta turn the paper for you to see it. See that, I think it's called Halo, that shimmer, that light shimmer that's in there and those whiter blotches there. That was, um, the Halo water, I mean the, uh, Terra watercolors. Okay, this is dry. Let me get these out of my way. <gasps> oh, so April, if we're approaching something like this, what would you suggest one does with these lovely pastels? I know it was the, um, was that the, um, I don't remember what red I had there. I think I went to the Quinn and this was red earth down here and I added the brighter Quinn up there. It's like fire. It's like it's on fire orange. And it sure looks like more than two colors there. <laughs> Just get ready for nine one one. Okay. Let's see what I should use for colors in here. Let's go for a little contrast. Or do I want, I'm looking at the, this in here too. Um, it's like my brain froze. Somebody help me. Um, let's go with, there's some of this bright green in here. This color is similar. So maybe let's just go in here. I got to figure out how hard I can push on these without making them crumble. Oh, there's my first marks. <laughs> Scribble a little, add water, and use similar to gouache. I think they would in our neighborhood gala. <laughs> Let me use some, uh, I could have probably still, let me, this one looks pretty close to some of these colors. Well, let's do that. Let me, let me, I'm going to draw a little blob of this and then kind of re-wet it. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, look at you. Now, all overly. Now, are these, when this dries, April, are they permanent? I wonder if I did like lines in this. Oops, damn weedies. I don't know my own strengths. <laughs> and let's see, get my smaller brush. I actually got it. I room, art room. Oh, a torn rotator cuff. Holy crap, Susan. Oh, yeah. Steroids are my friend. Let me tell you. Oh, boy. 
Joan, how have you been feeling? The marks could come off if you don't seal it. Okay, that's what I thought. We've got some company coming in to stay uh, Tuesday night as they come from South Carolina headed to New York. They're going to stay with us. We'll go out and get some crabs or crab cakes or something crabby. Our friend Larry was from here and um, whenever he comes to visit, he's got it. He wants crabs. So we can, we can find those. And, um, then they'll come back next week on the way south and stay again. Been fighting pain like mad pain. Oh, God, Joan. Good for you. Good for you. And nobody can say anything about your fighting spirit because you are, you're full of it. <laughs> That's what Paul would say, but in a good way. God bless you. I don't know how, how you do it. You're doing it and you're setting an example for everybody that it can be done. You can keep going and find some happiness in your life because you guys are always joyful and happy no matter what. Jo right? Joan is full of it. <laughs> Great. Very nice. Let's see. Can I make a shape? I don't want, I'm turning it because I don't want to put my sleeve in it necessarily. Of course, it's about the same color as my shirt, so that might not be a big deal. Um, if I can just do little... Are these... Um... I'm going to wet those. I don't like the way I did those. Let's see what happens. So you can get the underlying uh, bit, the shape to blend right out. That's kind of cool. Well, maybe not all the way, but I pressed on them pretty hard. So I think it's just a matter of how much water. Oh, yeah. They can go by ice if you really want them to. April, I might not be the one to promote your product. I should play with these off, off uh, stream to get used to them a little bit because I don't, I don't use this stuff at all. Tam! Hello! Um, let's see what would happen if we put in the wet spot if we came back with some of this green and just kind of made a swirl or something over top of this while it's wet I really don't know what I'm doing <laughs> let's get that out front I can play. Let's blend the colors and see what we get. I'll have to come up with some good experiments to try with this stuff. Maybe on the jelly plate. So do you, on the gel plate, do you just draw with these on the gel plate and then pick it up with like a matte medium or a paint, contrasting paint color, perhaps? Let's try a little bit of this stuff. Oh, see, it's separated in there. See how the pigment fell out and it's just kind of watery solution? Let's shake this bad boy up and see what happens. Let's see if I can get some, some of this in with this. What would happen? Let's just get some dots. 
go around here. Try to get them smaller and smaller. I don't know why. Just seemed like a good idea. Where do you get that gold patty? I got it on Amazon, Zay. Um, I'll show you what it is again. It's Kuretake. It's called Gold Drop of Shimmer. It's tiny, tiny, tiny on there. There we go. It talks about adding it to inks, which I'm curious to see how this would compare, Z, to what you're going to do today when you stream. Someone you scrap papers and put down color, then rub the color part through a stencil on the gel plate. Oh, huh, sounds like an art whisperer. Um, all right. What's... Um, <laughs> this purple is too much. Let's do something purple in here with this darker green with purple next to it. Let's see what happens there. Oh, well, I actually like that. By the time I get done this, maybe the other one will be dry. Oh, I do like those colors against each other. That's showing up more pinky purple here, the stripes I put in. It looks blue purple on the screen. That looks like a Christmas ball that I added gold in there. Be quiet, Gala. Do something up here with this one. I like I like this. What shall we do? <laughs> I do circles. Am I that? Okay, this one seems to be. Maybe I got used to the pressure. Damn weedies! I was crumbling the other ones. This one's kind of holding up. A little bit better. Cool. You can't hate that, people. Um, April, I... Can you put a link out to these in your shop? I don't remember how much they were, but um, just so if somebody doesn't see the chat, a little creative on Etsy. Um, a little, it's a little creative me. Um, for the Renaissance soft pastels. Sale going on right now with the code THANKFUL. How appropriate. Yeah, whip the link out there for uh, your shop, uh, April, please. Pretty please. Okay, this is almost dry. I'm going to let this sit up over here and dry a little bit. Might come back with some Lizzie's over there. And might add some... Well, it doesn't really look Christmassy, but we're gonna we're going for it anyway. <laughs> I like these two greens. I have to put a little razzle dazzle in there too. Um, green, green. I like the gold too. 
against that. And let's do Oh, I don't know. One of these. There you go. So there, April just put the link in, in the chat. Um, I always set my videos when I set up. Um, Xander, do you get the option uh, when it comes to the chat to just show the live chat and you can check off show live chat replay? I notice a lot of people that stream, you don't, they're live then, but you don't see the chat come up when you watch the recording which is kind of distracting. CB, what the hell are you doing there? Um, <laughs> was it one of your personal links you accidentally put out there? Um, no clue what I was saying. I'm telling you, it's getting bad. I'm not kidding when I say that. Okay, let's get a little dotting tool that one's bigger but that's okay um i want a little brush link disabled how come oh are you making a joke or you really can't put a link out there i was about, I was about to show you the goal thanks gala you're right I remember that now, <laughs> said no one ever. Let's see, I want a little, a little liner. Let's go even a little, little, little liner. Huh, I wonder what's going on. I see your link, April, but... And then I see one retracted, but I still see it in chat. Let me click on it and see if it works. Hang on. Yeah, it works. The link worked that you put in there. I don't know what CB's trying to do. Lord only knows. God love her. Um, hang on. Let's see. I want to go look at CB and see if there's... Huh. No, there's no options in the moderator stuff that say anything about not being able to link. Yeah, it looked like you were trying to link something on Amazon. Maybe this gold CB. Oh, maybe your link was too long. I hate when that happens. Okay. I'm not for that frivolity. Let's, uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't sprinkle my red. I'm not sure if that's the right red. That's a very blue red. These are warmer, but what the hey, it's just a practice sheet. So um, I like taking one of these dotting tools and, <coughs> excuse me, let me get some gold. Let this water's pulled up here and I just get it stirred up a little bit to loosen up more of the pigment on the top and then dip my tool in and do what? I'm going to make dots. All over here. I mean, get you can get several dots out of it <coughs> before you have to redip. And if you keep going, you get a varied size of dots because the paint comes off. You know, you lose the paint, so you get a smaller dot. But those are really cool. I'll do that. See, and then hold it up so you, can, you guys can see what this looks like. I'm looking down at the dot page, so I'm not watching chat right at the moment. So if CB happens to accidentally link any porn sites, somebody kill it for me. <laughs> I'll let that dry for a minute. And then let's do a little...
This reminds me of the um, forest green color almost. It's kind of got a blue, a blue tinge to it. Let's see what is going on here in chat. I'm trying to put up a link for the gold. Just got it wrong. Seems to work for me. See. <laughs> You're not sharing those, huh? <laughs> oh, God, I love you. Okay, so let's see if we just did. Maybe in this lighter green here. My hand is not so steady. I see all these artists that show the Lizzie Link of Colors and making these really beautiful, long, graceful sweeps. Mine are never so graceful because I don't have a steady hand. So don't take it out on the paints because mine aren't as graceful. Those of you who really know me know there's nothing graceful about me at all. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not that's not so good. <laughs> Oh, mercy. Let's do, um, I'm overdoing this. Like, I wouldn't normally put all this shimmer in every one of these blobs. I'm just trying to show you different, uh, these different colors on how these, um, how they look in a painting. This one shifts. Um, it's got a green component in there. Wow, that really shifts. See those fresh circles I put down there? I want to see if you guys can see that shift. I mean, they shift to a bright, bright green and you're not seeing it. Turn it. Ah, that's so strange. It's so, if you've ever streamed, I guess you'd have to stream to know the difference or try to zoom and show something on camera. It just, um, see there you can see the gold, but at one angle, that is brighter than an emerald green. It's like a very bright Christmas green that it shifts to. It's just not going to show. Why are you so mean? I'll be darn it. Won't show. Huh. Not nice. Um. Okay. Let's do some wispy little circles. And I'll do this other one because this has some uh, reddish in the shifter, uh, like a hot pinky orange, red, and the gold. I'll try to get this loaded up pretty good. Let's just do some big spines. Whoops! Or, or a drop. Let's do a couple drops because it's just dripping off of there. So let's make it look like I meant to do that. <laughs> I really didn't. I lost most of my pigment off of there. I'm getting it real watery there. Today's not a good paint day for me. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, well, it's been however long, two months since I painted anything. 
And of course, I know I'm not doing a portrait. I'm just doing blobs anyway, but um, I think my blobs are better before my little, let's call it a break, shall we? Good Lord, I'm making a mess, but it's such a pretty mess. Oh, let's see. What was I going to do? Let's do something with this red. And this probably wasn't the right brush to do that, but we're in it now. Let's just do more blobs, shall we? Wow, that's blobbing everywhere. Probably wasn't the right brush to use either. Ah! Oh, I got to put a disclaimer on the front of this video. Do not hold the products responsible for my uh, inability to work them properly. <laughs> I just ordered in a fit of uncontrolled consumerism. <laughs> what did she get this gold? <laughs> oh, God. You have both of those in your cart. Both of what? Am I missing something? God forbid. <laughs> Are you talking about the Lizzie Linkas? And Gail, Gail type yes wrong. I guess that means yes. Or it's maybe some secret language. <laughs> Comes in silver too. Silver. Nobody told me that. I didn't know it came in silver. We know I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. All right. Let's switch over to here and let's see what we can. It's still wet up there. Let's see. Let's put a little shimmer in this bad boy. Let's do this shimmering snow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get that red right off of there. Probably should use a brush. Okay, let's see. What can we do with the silvery stuff? I wonder if I could... Um... Oh, I forgot this stuff is powdery. I think I got a little fingerprint there, but that's okay. I don't think this is going to end up at the Smithsonian, despite what everyone was expecting. <laughs> Probably not. You know, I want to see this holographic. This looked... Is Alex still here? I don't know why this looked different to me. Oh, now I can see... I think I can see the colors in that. Take my glasses off so I can see. I guess the colors are in there. It's very shimmery, the shimmering snow. But I first didn't see the whole rainbow effect of the holograph that you usually see, like see in the green. You can see different colors in there. It's it's so shimmery the camera won't even pick it up. Blurs it out. I gotta get the um the lights he was telling me about. Amazon Kurataki ink. And yellow gold is shifting pigment. Oh, hey, shimmering snow is hollow. And yellow gold shifting. That's what I'm seeing. White gold. Okay. That's, I, I thought I saw more of a, just, you know, a metallic, plain metallic kind of shimmer rather than the holographic. 
That's beautiful, actually. That may be my new favorite. I'm just saying. Um, I don't know if I want to paint on this one with all, with the uh, chalk stuff on there. I might need to keep my um, keep that on there. Hold on a minute. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I know I have. I have something else. That was painted. That was drying. Oh, what happened here? So this is one that it's just basically the streaks of the my two um, masha colors that make the raku together, the serpent green and the ultramarine magenta that I did. I don't know sometime this summer. Let's um, let's do something here. With this shimmering snow. I'm going to go in the darker areas. I'm going to turn it this way because, of course, my sleeve will be in it. I get so stuck when I go to doodle. Kathy, I bought my. Um, know your doodle book or what do you call it april calls hers what do you call it some kind of compendium april she's so fancy um i have one it's still in pristine condition because i've not touched it to do anything in it yet of course i haven't touched much hopefully when i retire i'll have somewhat normalcy and i don't have the i'm hoping hoping i can get by with not with putting off this spinal fusion surgery for a while, there's some things I want to do around the house and down here with this stuff before I'm laid up again. I do like the shimmering snow. Yes, I do. I wonder if I can script a little with this. This brush, I'm not sure it's going to hold enough for me to make any progress on it. Let me just do a little something right in here. The watercolor paper makes it drags off the moisture of this with the texture. And it makes it kind of skips when you're going down, down the page. Where you get little feathery marks instead of a straight mark. Well, it is something showing up there. So that's, that's better than I expected. <laughs> it is really hard to do that. Congratulations, Susan. Hang on, what happened there? Going to be the first time. Oh, a grandma. Congratulations. A lot of babies are popping up around these parts. Backside of arches for that reason. Oh. Hmm. I think this was arches. I don't know. Interesting. I'll have to give that a go. I'm going to put some of these. Put some little dots in these darker bits here. Where's my water? I didn't even know, think about that or ever heard anybody using the backside of it. Um, is it just a little bit smoother, April? Let's go. Let's do, um, try to find an area here that would be.
good spot to do like an outline. Size the same but better for pen work. Huh. Look at you. Smarty pants. Now the world knows. Yeah, I whenever I do that, unless I have a really bigger brush that's really saturated with water and pigment and I can uh, you know have a better shot at getting a few characters in there before it gets dry and draggy on the texture. And it does that with any paint that I do it with. Ink, sumi ink, whatever. It's the texture of the paper. I'll put a little bit over here too. That's over there. Let's do a little bit over here. See, when I do this, I can't watch the chat and keep CB on her good behavior. She gets, she runs off the rails every once in a while if I'm not watching her. <laughs> okay, do that up here a little bit. That looks kind of cool when you see that little flicker. Kind of dapping this in a little bit. So this part of a solid line. What time is it? Three. Oops, I gotta get ready to wrap her up. So while I still have the conscious mind to remind everybody. Don't forget April's site, A Little Creative Me on Etsy, um, with all the Renaissance products from Poland that she imports. Uh, she's got a coupon code, which is thankful. Um, and keep your eye, look for the um, Lissy Linka site on their newsletter. And sign up for their newsletter to keep... Uh, in touch with them for when they come out with more of these shifters next year, which next year is right around the corner. And a new Christmas set's going to be coming. And they've been selling out when they first come out with sets recently. So I think more people are catching on to my secret. <laughs> I can never keep a secret with a good art product. I can hear Oakley prancing around up there. That dog loves Dave. He tolerates me, I think. Every night. Somewhere around, I don't know, between 7 and 8, 8.30-ish, somewhere in there. He will jump off for out watching television in the sunroom. He will come in there. Let me show you the picture last night. This is every single night. He, I could hear Dave say, babe, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. He jumps up on the sofa with Dave. And puts his head right next to Dave. Hang on, let me try to make that bigger. Every night, that's what he does. <laughs> he jumps up and he leans and puts his head like cheek to cheek with Dave. Every single night. I have so many pictures of that. Because it's too cute when he does it. 
Okay, I guess I should wrap up now. The Z is going to stream at four. New mica pigment pebbles from Jane. I can't wait to see those. I know, isn't it cute? <sighs> Some days I could brain him. I mean, Oakley, not Dave. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> but he's, he is just the cutest little booger. And I do mean booger. Let me try one more really wet pigmented. Even if I just get a little character up here. Will that work? Should I do that? That's the worst. Okay. Again, it's not going to the Smithsonian. Everybody relax. <laughs> yeah, I just lose. I lose traction. I'll leave well enough alone with that. With that little business up there, or not, or maybe. I'll just do a little something off, off the page here in the corner. Actually, I like that better than <laughs> the bigger ones. All right, kids, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And glad to see that I made it back finally. And the rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Most of those probably came from Gala. <laughs> oh, God bless her. Um, this little soap dish I got to put my brushes in. How cute is that? Um, here's another one. Thanks, Alex, for joining in uh, and coaching us on the way to, to uh, look at these lovely, lovely watercolors. Here's, um, let me show you guys this. See where it catches the light here. It really catches the light when it does. Hang on. Oh, it is on. Okay. I want to try to see where the, um, down here at the very bottom, I just kind of outlined. Oh, so hard. The wires of the camera is in the way. And every time I bump the wire, it moves the camera. It's like a precarious setup here. I need to look into better lighting. There's that little tiny little piece of scripting I added in there. Burr. See the shimmer in there a little bit. It's really hard to show. I like this edge over here, too. Where is it? Where the heck is it? Oh, at the top of the scripting there. It shows so shiny, it, it lights out. It's there. Up here, so those little lines are probably a little bit easier to see clustered together there. That is some pretty business. So here's the Christmas set. I forget what this is called, but this is still available. This was the Black Friday set that is no longer available, but will come back at some point in the future. Uh, these are the shifters that uh, are no longer available. They sold out of those, but more shifters coming in 2024. Happy New Year. And here's the new Hazel that is one of the free with purchase items. Uh, that's a new one that's, that's given out. Make a wish and Mary and Bright available. Hang on. So this is, is this Mary and Bright? I need to mark these down. Only the shifters. We were exclusive Black Friday gift. So hang on. Let me make sure I understand this right, Alex. Are you saying that these two sets are still available?
This one is the Merry and Bright, correct? The Christmassy green and red and silvery white one. And how about this one? Is this the Make-A-Wish? This was the Black Friday one. No, that Make-A-Wish 2022. No, that's Make-A-Wish 2022. Oh, I'm getting all confused here. I usually have it together on these, but my brain is, I'm telling you, something's going on up there. Blue Velvet Champagne Emerald is the Christmas set. Okay. This is the Christmas set that is or is not still available. Did this one sell out? That is available. Okay. So this is available as is this, correct? So both of these are available. So we know the shifters are no longer available, right? And Hazel's a freebie that comes in. Did I finally get that right? Make-A-Wish also available, but a relaunch. They sold out. Okay, I don't know which one that is, but as long as we got that straight, that those are still available. You guys are selling out a lot. I think you got a lot of, a lot of new addicts. <laughs> I know several people that are collectors and will want everything that comes out. This is still wet in spots. And ignore the overall painting. It's not a great painting. But um, look at that. Can you see the green with the little V's in there? How hot pink orange that is. And when I look at it at a certain angle, it's just as green as it can be. And you can't see that angle no matter what I do. Oh my gosh. Here's just the gold dots that I did. The champagne. And here's one of the shifters I did in a circle that blobbed all over the painting. Because I wasn't watching my brush. I'm telling you, I'm really off. Something's not, something's not firing on all cylinders up there. <laughs> You keep plundering you. <laughs> okay, so okay, so this is Make a Wish. Candy cane, shimmering snow, and evergreen. This one's Make a Wish. I'm writing that on the bottom of this rascal right now. As soon as I find my Sharpie. There we go. This one is Make a Wish. That one's Make-A-Wish. I know this one's Hazel. And this one. Oh, Lordy. Blue Velvet Champagne. That's is Christmas 23. Okay. And this was Galaxy Shifters. And don't forget, um, Mary and Bright. No. This one's Mary and Bright, right? Sorry for all the confusion, Alex. I'm telling you, my brain is just not. I'm actually going to have that looked into. <laughs> I'm that concerned about it. Um, and if you are shifter crazy and can't wait till the another set comes out in 24, don't forget about Summer Lovin'. There's seven of those bad boys. And 
one is prettier than the other. I think this is probably among my favorites. There's too many to talk about that are favorites, but they are, they are scrumptious. I do love me a good shifter. Okay, and then April's little creative me on Etsy. Here's some Renaissance new soft pastels. She's got watercolors that she imports and different products, palettes, different goodies over on Etsy. I am a fan. You're, you're more than welcome. I really appreciate you. And um, yeah, what else? Oh, you know what else I was going to do? I was going to do some glitter. Maybe next time. Look at those babies. Can't hate that. I'll play with Mermy's technique the next time we get on. So hopefully this will be a little more regular than it has been since I haven't been here. And I don't know how long it's been, like a month and a half or longer. <laughs> yeah, I take you all down with me, Susan. We'll be the best decked out art supplies in the poor house. What the heck? You got to go some way, right? So I am going to go upstairs, get stuff straightened out up there, and watch Xander at 4 o'clock. She's got some really cool um, Jane Davenport products coming up that are new that I am personally anxious to see. And I hope you guys have a great week. I think that's it. All right, kids. Thanks so much. It was great to see everybody as best as I can see you. <laughs> All right, kids. Next time. Bye.